What is going on, Flight Crew? It's your boy, Fly Stewie. Today, we're going over some Axie Infinity gameplay guides, how to get better in Arena and get those sweet, sweet SLP tendies. Guys, today on the right, we have my Scholar. Um, little softy, I think my 20th, 22nd Scholar, I can't remember. But she has a numbing plant in the back here. So this one disables all melee plants. Very special. We have a poison aqua shrimp right here. Can do a lot of damage to plants with these two cards. And in the front we have a yam plant again to get that poison. It makes it so this is a team that's going to take you out to the 10th round. And it's going to take you out to um, 16th round. By the way, perfect plant. But, um that you're using with it. I really like this plant that you're using with it. Absolutely spectacular choice. And you have the disguise for the extra poison triggers. I like that. And you're going against a traditional bird beast team. So here is the bird in the back. Here is the beast in the middle. Now notice they're doing this lineup. And that's because the beast wants to one shot whoever he's gonna kill. These two, they wanna attack the same person. So they put them in the same line to try to give them that extra humph. But let's see what happens. By the way, we got Rico in the building, Gia in the building, Little Softy in the building. So let's see what Little Softy does round one. So round one, the opponent does Hot Butt. Hot Butt, of course, disables this guy's vegetable card. So Little Softy, our scholar, won't be able to steal energy, and she passes first round. Now, what's interesting here is first round, she's actually in a situation where she can do significant damage to this guy. Now, because this bird has this zero cost card, um, there's a lot of times on round two and round three, this bird is ready to go. Round two and kill your aqua, kill your big threat. So in this round here, the biggest threat you have is probably, it's a mixture between the bird and the beast. I think the beast is a tremendous threat, can get you energy. If he gets to your shrimp on time, then you're in big trouble. But I think the definite play probably is for round two. And she gets the thing here is you probably want to get rid of the, the bird here. So let's see what she decides to do. She does exactly that. She gets rid of the bird. Now notice how she's playing these cards here. And she actually chains this poison, poison. We have four poison here, and she actually changed this with this card here. Another nose to red here, another bug card to get that poison. Definitely a professional move right there. And then the opponent goes for the energy steal. So right now, she, Lil Softy's in an absolute dominating position here. And this is gonna be a very judgment call move. Now, you know they're gonna come for the tack here. Now, what do you wanna do here? You just played a bunch of your aqua cards. You know you're not gonna get them for a while. Do you go for the poison or do you sit and chill? I think you sit and chill and you wait next turn. But let's see what she does. She goes for the poison. Not the worst move in the world. And now this person is poisoned and you buy yourself a little bit of time. But now you're in a situation where you're kind of exposed and you're gonna be in a situation where this beast might get to this guy before you can get rid of his guy. So again, because she just used all of her aqua cards, she's in a situation where, you know, very scarily, <laughs> she's gonna be in a situation where she's going a two on one versus the beast versus these two. But let's see what happens here. Hmm. Now, I would say out of all the moves, this one was probably the one where you could have waited. Now, the the scary thing about waiting is you're most likely gonna get vegetable tier, but at this point, you probably wanna wait at least one more turn to go. I'd rather the beast kill your aqua and then this person be exposed and then you attack than to attack when you're not using this defensive attack. A lot of times you wanna be attacking when someone's attacking you, so. Now we're in a situation where it's really game over. Um, and again, at this point, there's not a lot you can really do, right? She uses Risky Frisch to get the attack bonus here. 
And again, so if you have waited one more turn, and of course it's actually it's hard to know what cards you're gonna get, you would have had four cards. You would have been in a situation here where you could have done 300 damage with a little branch and probably take that thing out, and then you have at least a decent 1v1 against this person, but again, remember this is our scholar's first time using this Axie comp, so it's very hard to beat the beat bird and beast right now. Right now, it is like the best team, honestly. Let's change up. Let's put a little, some little more beats on here. All right, right now, so again, we're not in a good situation. She gets a pretty good draw here. Let's see if she's gonna be able to take them out. Oh, and takes them out with the double sugar rush. Okay, so doing 150 with a plant is not a bad thing. And here is the scary situation you're in. A beast versus plant 1v1. I mean, it's gonna be a good night. The most she can do here is double mint. Probably want to use zigzag numbing, but let's see what they do here. She just tries to save an energy, but realistically, against this barrage, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> there's nothing you can do. It's just a terrible matchup for the plant. And she t loses the game. So, again, guys, the bird and the beast is one of the most powerful comps in the game. If you're going against a comp that goes really well against you, such as using a double plant and then using a bird beast, it's really about those few typical moves that you can do. Um, to really get the edge and you have to basically play a perfect game But if you like this game where I go over axie tips for beginners gameplay guides Make sure you like comment subscribe and I will continue to do those more as always It's your boy fly Stewie and we fly crew. We'll see you next time Peace